I don't even know what to say to that. Um, <laughs> it's quite amazing that I could gather so many of my friends in a room to be here to all declare our independence. And I was thinking a lot about how I wanted to start what I have to say. And the first thing I want to do is I want to actually start by giving the biggest thanks to my dad because my dad has been my number one supporter and biggest fan since I told him maybe about 10 years ago that I was thinking about getting into politics for the first time. I was about 15 years old, and he just said, you know what, son, do what you got to do. The thing about my dad is that my dad, my dad actually recently re met Ray McGovern, um, and he told Ray McGovern something that uh, I, I didn't even know. I knew my dad was drafted into the Salvadorian Civil War when he was young. I didn't know how young. He told Ray, yeah, I was 14 years old when I was illegally drafted into the Salvadorian Civil War. And so my dad was 14 years old. He was a child soldier. And his job was to go and kill the Contras, which was a, uh, a US-funded war on both sides. And my dad is just some 14-year-old kid who's caught up in a war that he has no idea about. He's just told he has to go and kill some people because they have different colored uniforms or bandanas and a different flag. And therefore, it's his job to go and kill them. And all that changed after my dad left when he was about 16, 17 years old. He had to illegally jump the border. They wouldn't let him through um, because at the time, uh, they didn't believe that he was actually Salvadorian because all Salvadorians are fair-skinned. And my dad is my same shade of skin. And so they said, there's no way you're from El Salvador. There's no, we're not going to give you refugee status. So he had to come in the country illegally. My dad is an example of people around the world today who are brainwashed when they're young and told that there are people around the world who hate them. Now, thankfully, today my dad is actually a Christian who has done a lot of preaching now, and he preaches for peace, and he admires what I do in trying to call other people to stand up for peace and declare their independence. And so I just want to dedicate what I'm about to say to my dad. And that is the one person that I always neglect to thank in everything I do. And what is it that exactly I do and we do? See, people said, oh, people are here coming for you. No, Diane and I are coming for you. You're not coming here for us. We're coming here for you. Because our job is to shock the consciousness and the conscience of Americans and of America. People may remember that when I confronted Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and she looked at me and she was frozen and she didn't really know what to say and she said, I can't hear you. And it took her three to four days to respond and say, actually what they said, it doesn't matter because they're right wing Trump supporters. They're part of this weird cult called the LaRouche people. They were going around talking about eating babies or something four years ago, this is what she said. And yeah, we did do that. But <laughs> and what we did to her was put her in a kind of crisis of faith in that moment where she knew she was wrong and every fiber of her being was to stand with us and she couldn't because she was a sellout. And what we are trying to do here, what we will do here is we are not just going to do that to all the politicians. We're not just going to do that to our citizens and our fellow citizens. We are doing it to America as a whole because we were founded on a principle of independence independence and freedom. We were founded on a principle of declaring our independence from oligarchy, from unjust and prejudice. And we were founded on a principle of freedom. And one of those foundational freedoms was our freedom of speech, to stand up against injustice and lies and to tell the truth when everyone tells you you are wrong, to look at authority in the face and say you are lying. That is the intervention principle, and it is our job and everybody's job who is listening to call upon the greater angels of your nature and of your country's history. Look at the great figures of history that define this nation like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, 
Abraham Lincoln, President FDR, and President Kennedy. And we are to invoke them into the consciousness of America today to remind people that America is not the British Empire. We are not citizens of Britain. We are not subjects. We are citizens, and with that, there is a responsibility to constantly declare your independence, to constantly fight for nonviolence. But don't get it twisted. Nonviolence is not the absence of war. Nonviolence is perpetual, productive creativity. Nonviolence is building enough housing so that no one has to go without a home at night. No one has to be hungry at night so that everyone can develop themselves to their fullest capabilities to be as creative as possible so that they can leave something behind for the next generations of people to come long after they are dead, long after this earth that we love so much has been swallowed up in a ball by the sun and we are living and spread out amongst galaxies across the cosmos. That's how far we have to think. What do I want a child born in the year 2099 when hopefully I'm in a wheelchair, not dead yet? But what do I want that child's life to look like from the day he is born to the day he is dead? And why do I want it to be infinitely better than anything I could have ever had? And why should I allow that child to make sure that he can make a child born in the year 2199's life infinitely better than his? That is what it means to be a human being, and that is what it means to be an American, but that is also what it means to be a world citizen. And you have to actively declare your independence so next time you are in a room when someone is lying to you, when someone is telling you that war is peace, you have to stand up, look them in the face, and tell them you are wrong, and you are lying and we are here to declare our independence.